second day, back at it. It was hard yesterday, after having a week out, to actually get my ass back in gear to do it. And I've got to be honest, today felt worse. I really felt like I couldn't be bothered. But, I have to tell you, doing these little videos does help. Because it kind of takes my mind off of things and makes me think of Tottenham and stuff like that rather than the pain my legs are getting through and how sweaty my arse crack is as I'm walking up a bleed nil. Um, oh, I've got to scratch my nose. Sorry. Um, but anyway, yeah, waffling again. Sorry. I know you don't tune in to listen to me talking about myself. But I was having a think today about what could I talk about? And you know what struck me that I haven't really touched on at all is fringe players. I know we've talked an awful lot about players coming in, but we haven't really talked about players going out. I kind of assumed that certain players are going to go. But what about those on the fringe? Do we think they're going to go? Do we think they're going to get loaned? Do we think they're going to you know, break into the squad. So, I was thinking about players like, and I'll give her for instance, Brian Hill, Pepe Sarr, Troy Parrott, Harry Winks, La Celso, um, Tanganga, Ondombele. These are all players that are still in the squad, technically, that we haven't heard too much about in terms of firm offers. But we as fans probably think some of them should go. And I just wonder, what's your opinion? What's your view? I'm not getting too many comments at the moment. To be fair, I'm not getting too many views. So that's probably why I'm not getting too many comments. But it'd be quite interesting for those of you that are watching to kind of give us your view on that. So. Starting off with Brian Hill, I really like that guy. I think he's a tricky little player. I think he's got something to offer. I'd, personally, I'd keep him. But I'm not sure that he really is going to stay. I think they probably look at him and think, we could probably cash in and get some money with him at the moment. Because his stock's quite high. It's not like he's burnt his bridges or really showed poor performance or anything. So I think there's an option there for him to probably move on with a, um, a loan to buy, something like that, which I think is a little bit disappointing. Because I, like I say, I do think he's a decent player in there. Pape Sarr, I think a little bit like um, Hill in the fact that we haven't seen enough of him and I don't think I don't think Conte will have seen too, enough of him to be able to make a decision and I think that's probably why both of those players were included to go to South Korea kind of makes sense right because I think with Conte it won't just be about how they play it'll be about how they apply themselves how they buy into what he's trying to do what their attitudes like how they fit in with a squad so those sorts of things but with Saar I kind of think he might have more of a chance of a small loan maybe with an opportunity to come back or potentially make it into the the actual squad depending on what happens with maybe some of the other more seasoned shall we say players that we've got in this in this bracket Troy Parrott so he's another one who's kind of he burst on the scene a couple of years ago and everyone was bigging him up that he was fantastic and so on and I think he's done all right on a couple of his loans. But I just got the feeling that 
patience is running a little bit thin with him to actually start delivering, which is a shame, because a little bit like Harry Kane, when he kind of first really got going, I used to think to myself, this kid does everything but put the ball in the back of the net. But then boy, once he did, he didn't stop. So maybe, maybe that's the same with Parrot. But I just got a feeling he's gonna go. If an offer comes in for him, I think he'll go. Not sure we'll live to regret it. Don't know. You don't know how these things are gonna turn out, do you? Um, so then Jaffet Tanganga. I'm really disappointed with this one because I really like that lad. I think he's got a great attitude. Um, and I thought he was decent. He came in, he had a couple of really good, you know, star man performances when he first came on but he's been blighted with injury and that's really holding him back and he's never really been played as a, kind of like as a centre back he's always kind of been played out on the right or out on the left and I'm not sure that's really his position um, so a bit disappointed for him but I think um, I think he'll probably go because I think he's good enough and I think there'll be clubs out there that are looking to take him and I think from a Tottenham perspective they'll be going you know what if we can get some money for him a firm offer then it makes sense for us to take it and get that money back in because we are going with Spence as the young man and then we've still got Doherty and Emerson who, who I still think both will, both will stay believe it or not I think Spence is probably the, the backup to those two. But, you know, I might be proved wrong. Um, uh, what was the next one? The next one I was kind of playing around with in my head. Harry Winks. Yeah, really. Such a shame. And I know I've touched on him before. Such a shame because he is a Tottenham lad through and through. Um, but he needs to play. If he ever wants to get back in the England team, he really needs to play. And with us having Basuma and Benton Core, Hoiberg and Skip even overtaking him, puts him in a difficult position. So I think he'll want to go. And again, I think if the club gets a firm offer, I think they'll cash in. So I think he's, he's probably one who will go. So that kind of brings us back to the, the big two, I guess. La Celso and uh, Tongai. Right, so I think we want both, rid of both. I think the club want to let both go. Um, I think the disappointing thing about all of that is clearly La Celso, if we take him first, has real ability. When he goes away and he plays with Argentina, shows some real quality. And in the Spanish league, he does really well, but I guess not every player is suited to the Premier League. I mean, he came over and he's had some injuries that don't help. Sorry, I keep pushing my glasses up and everything, but I'm a bit sweaty walking up this hill. Um, so I think he's had a little bit of bad luck as well, but I just don't think it's ever going to happen for him. I think he's one of those that, as much as you really want him to do well, it's just not going to happen. So I think he's one that we really do want to let go. We really do want to recoup some money on. And if we can get a Spanish side to pick him up, I think mean, I don't think the club will look back on that. I think he's, uh, I think he's likely to move on. Which kind of brings us to the last one that I really wanted to pick up on. I'm just trying to think if there was anybody else who was really on my radar. Tango and Dombele. Mate, you could make a, a whole video just about Tango and Dombele, couldn't you? You know, seen the video, Jesus Christ, someone's just doing a U-turn there. What an idiot. Um, yeah, so Tango, that's him. Tungai on Dombele, we could really make a video just about him. There is no doubting that this guy is super, super talented. 
but he's just got the wrong attitude totally. And I think that'll be the key for Conte, is that I can't see him running 41 lengths of a football pitch. And I can't see him being bothered about having to ring a bell of shame if he had to. I think he'd be the one to go, yeah, you know what? I'll ring that, I'll ring that bell. I was going to say something else then. I'll ring that bell if there's a chance to, to sit down. There's me talking about this application. What all I'm doing, I'm trying to walk up this bleeding hill. You see it? Don't look a lot to you. But I tell you what, my poor pins are really struggling. Yeah. So, I think that's the key. So, on Don Belly, I think he's one they really want to get rid of. Because, he's, as it stands, still our most expensive player. A lot of money spent on him. A lot invested. Wages and all the rest of it. But I just kind of wonder where, if he's going to end up as one of those who just disappears into obscurity. I wonder if, uh, if he'll disappear off to, I don't know, Saudi Arabia or the USA or somewhere. Because if he can't make it back in, in France, which to be fair is a one-team league, makes you wonder what he's going to do. He really needs to change his attitude and change his, his abilities to really show what he's got and apply himself if he's ever going to really show his talent for what it really is. Because as I say, really talented lad on his day, watching him live. Hey, I think he's been fab. Uh, his application and that is just so poor. So yeah, so that's my view on a few of those people. I would really be interested to see what you think about that. Am I talking rubbish? Have I got them wrong? Anyone I missed? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you're interested to have that chat with you. I do tend to try to respond to as many uh, comments as I can. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. If I'm still breathing by the time I get home today. Jesus. Up the spurs.